Oceana is the uh, wor worldwide organization. We work to protect the world's oceans, create marine protected areas, make sure fish comes back and that it's managed sustainably. The last 30 years, I'm an old guy, so the last 30 years we've lost almost half of the life in the oceans. Of the food fish, 90% is either overfished or fished to its absolute limits. If nothing happens, by 2048 there will be no food fish in the ocean. The good news, fish comes back really fast. You do three things, you protect the most important places in the ocean, you manage the fisheries in an effective way, and you stop illegal and destructive fishing. Fish will come back in the next 10 years. So the status of the ocean is it's unknown to most people. We have had more people on the moon than we've had in the deepest spot in the ocean. It's out of sight and out of mind. I think the time for the oceans has come now because we can see, if you walk around in the supermarkets here in Geneva, the fish you find in the counters, and Switzerland is a rich country, it's not the fish you find in the lakes, or it's not, it's fish coming far away, and it's because we're running out of fish in Europe, the, fish, the European waters are empty, or almost empty. So 2016 is a very important year in Europe because it's, we've just had a very good change in European fisheries legislation. 2016 is the year we we're going to see this actually happen. So when the ministers set catch limits and quotas and when they declare protected areas, this is, this is like a litmus test. If they do it right, we will recover European oceans, we'll create more fish, more jobs in the fishing industry and of, of course more fish uh, on people's tables and that's good for health as well. One of the biggest challenges for marine conservation is making sure, because the solution is if you want to have more fish you need to fish a little less. But of course fishermen need to have the fish for the money and we need to have the fish for the food. So there's like a gap between what we have now and what we can get in 10 years. And that shift, that transit period needs to be funded. There's a lot of creative ideas here that I hope to learn from so we can fund the gap between the unsustainable fisheries we have today and to the more profitable fisheries we will have tomorrow if we do things right.